Hey what's up guys, Rajat here from World of VFX. In this video, we'll teach you how you can create this kind of a scene inside of Unreal Engine 5.5.4. Now this is a beginner friendly video. I hope you guys will love this a lot. So let's get started. Alright, we are in Unreal Engine 5.5.4. As you can see, this is a very basic simple setup. So before moving forward, you need to reset this. So go to new empty level and let's create an empty level and press create. So we have something like this. Now, before moving forward, go to content and you need to create a new folder. So let, let's take a new folder and let's name it to tutorial TUT. I just make it a short. And now here you can save your files like simply press save, contained and just press map. And by the way, guys, we are starting our Unreal Engine entry level course. You can see the snap in front of you. If you are really interested, you can definitely join this course. All details are in description box below go and click on that link and you can join the classes the classes will be the live classes so please go and join this unreal engine entry level course all right so now firstly we need to create a very basic light setup so so go to windows and you can find this option called environment light and mixer simply click this and just turn on all those options and going down you can find this volumetric fog just check this on now simply select all this and take a new folder and just name it to light so that all the lights will be in a different folder and now take a new folder and just name it to a map so now whatever you will do the things will come inside of this new folder now let's take a landscape so go to this landscape options and if you want you can create using a height map but we don't do that so just press create and uh, find out something like this now uh, we are going to sculpt this but before that we need to import our model so go to selection tab and uh, my old tutorial folder i have this model files simply select the static mesh so i have these two temple and something uh, different kind of a temple options over here so just simply drag and drop into here and it will comes like this now let's get back to your landscape material or landscape option and now let's start sculpting so we just need to focus on the base ground so that it will collide with the ground also with this uh, what you can say this temple and all so just do it pretty roughly no need to do it uh, like a high quality and now by holding uh, the control you can make it like this by pressing shift you can make it a little bit smoother settle down something like this now if you want you can make some waters over here it will looks more cool so let's do it and here we go we have something like this okay cool so now let's uh, go back to your selection tab and now we need to add the materials over here. So I'm going to use this one. Just drag and drop and it will automatically apply it. Now if you find out that uh, this is pretty tiled, just simply double click. And over there you can find this called tiling option. And just make it to 0.1 by 0.1. And it will fix. Alright, now let's add some waters. So first of all, what I'll do, I'll just take a new shape and make it a plane. And simply increase the shape so that it can create a water just push it down further that it will go inside of the water surface and let's increase the shape here pretty nice here as well so this will create a fake water also like in water now what you can do select the content and type water now inside of unreal engine we have a dedicated water material but if you can't find simply click this all option and you can find these two mi pool and mi pool 02 now use it based on your scene now simply drag and drop this to eat this water and it will automatically apply it so click this option and create camera here you can find this called cine camera actor simply click the camera will import let's spin it now you can change the camera settings right from here so what I'll do, I'll just uh, sensor size, change it little like this so that it can create a, a cinematic axis ratio. And now what I'll do, I'll just uh, lens in the in the lens settings, I'll just decrease the f-stop to minus. And now minimum and maximum focal length. So just make it to 2 and the maximum will be 1000 is good. Now select this temple and let's increase the shape slightly so that it can match with the scene. So yeah, this is perfect. Push it little down. 
and we are good to go now let's add the backgrounds and the foliages so the backgrounds i'm using the blueprints and uh, the backgrounds i'm imported from this electronic pack so simply click this content and select the blueprint and in the assembly folder you can find all these things here so for this let's uh, add few on the background so simply drag and drop and it can find out over here and make sure whatever you are doing it will visible right here so just rotate this now make sure the temple should be smaller and the background will be bigger so always make everything bigger on your background so push it down push back so it will look something like this it's very big actually okay so make sure it has to be big and I'm going to copy this by holding alt it will copy and just rotate this also just uh, push the scales more and uh, just push it down and let's rotate this direction scale this so it will apply it like this okay now same I'll just copy it for this area and again I'm going to scale this pretty large so that it will cover the entire backside and you can find this too it's pretty large already what I'll do I'll just um, push it back but before that just increase the camera speed and uh, push it extreme backwards so it can be visible right from here now it's I know it's very very less but trust me these kind of things actually create a big impact on your scene and one more time copy to cover this backside because otherwise the light will getting leaked so it will it will feel like a fake all right we're done with our scene setup now let's add our foliages which will create on this much area this this area will be our the foliages area so to the foliages go to this uh, foliages tab and here you can find this add foliages and you can find all these foliages which i have already used from the mega scan simply click one by one which you want to add it over here you can use some uh, stones as well so i'm just making it randomly you can use some oak trees and also select and uh, let's create this one and now you can find this called single static instance mesh but we are not going to do this what i'll do i'll just going down you can find this called scale x and y just reset this and make it to one by two and now let's start doing painting over here so once you click you can see the static mesh are getting some foliages right here so just decrease the camera speed and now let's start painting so once you start your painting you can see the foliages are started created over here now if you notice in front there is very less foliages because uh, otherwise the camera will cover but if you want you can create very less so that it can create a depth over here so i'm just going to use very very subtle amount of foliages right in front of the camera so make sure it will not cover the entire cameras so once we're happy with all the foliages now get back to the selection tab and make sure you have to save this file because it can crash now let's work on the lighting so control and l to rotate the lighting and once you start rotating you can find all the rest gaps areas so go back to the foliages tab and i uh, just going to use a single instance mode and i'm just making a single single foliages for the frontal area which is this one so once i click this you can see some trees are getting here so just add few trees get back to the selection tab and we are going to jump into our exact camera view so this is my camera view push it little up slightly and uh, okay fine now press ctrl l again and let's match the lighting now i want the light to right hit from the background so it will be here and something like this now select this environment light and mixer which is this one environment height fog going down you can find this called volumetric and the scattering distribution if you increase this it can actually increase the fog density also you can simply go here and just make it 0.1 and just release it and suddenly the scene will change and again you can do your lighting settings it's completely up to you whatever you want to do you can just make it right from here now select this environment height and fog if going down you can find this option called view distance once you decrease the view distance you can exactly find out the depth changing so just do it randomly with your preferences now i'm just click this camera and let's work on the depth of field which is actually very very important part of this video simply select decrease the focal length to this temple and just turn this off now just current aperture let's say 0.5 
and you can suddenly see the blurs in front of your camera it's like camera blur may or make it to 0.1 this can create a complete shallow depth of field just it's too much actually let's make it to 0.2 and this is perfect now we are going to use the post process volume so go to visual effects post process volume and just type infinite and just turn this on and just release it and going down you can find called bloom option simply turn this to so it will create a bloom effect now going to exposure turn this on and turn this on to make it to one by one so it can control the exposure so you can control the exposure right from here and going down you can find called color grading option so just simply go to this global color grading and what i'll do i'll just uh, decrease it and uh, the contrast let's increase the contrast so that it will boost up your scene now let's decrease the exposure slightly so it's really subtle and this is good now in the gain tab i'm going to add some yellowish tint on your gain now in the contrast in the mid tone it should be increased so that the scene looks dramatic now simply go to search and type vig and you can find this called vignette size and vignette intensity simply turn this on and now increase it so that it can create a dark fall off on the side and it started looking too much good for this kind of a scene and this looks good here now let's create a new empty level sequence so add level sequence and go to contained my folder and press save now simply drag and drop the camera to here change the frame rate to 300 or let's make it to 350 and just push the end frame to 350 now we are going to use the very subtle element of uh, camera movement so simply press this one and going to last frame simply push the camera just decrease the camera speed slightly push the camera a little for forward slide like this and push little down and that's it cool right now select these two and right click press linear and you are good to go so this is our very basic of camera animation now let's add some camera shake go to contain browser go to content and inside of my last tutorial folder i have already added a new blueprint for the camera shake what i'm going to use here and here you can find the camera shake and just add the camera shake here so this can create a little bit of camera jerk for your scene and now we are good to go so you play this looks amazing now let's work on the settings for the render so select here and go to unsafe configuration just delete this jpeg select make it to anti-aliasing and uh, we are going to use the png sequence now if you want you can use the exr sequence as well to control the lights just make it to ppiz and now uh, on this color output just turn off this disabled tone curves and uh, going to this anti-aliasing if you don't want any motion blur you can simply use this spectacle sample count but if you want a little bit of motion blur you can use this to let's say 16 but in this scene if you notice there will be no motion blur because it's a very static scene so what i'm going to do make it to one and increase this 16. okay and now select this and uh, engine warm up let's say 16 and uh, engine warm up count should be 16. now go to output change the resolution because we already change with our this scene so what do we need to do simply select make it to 2 and make it to 8 10 into 2 so it will become the cinematic ratio simply turn this on and press accept and make sure save it and press render local so yes that's it for today i hope you really enjoyed this short simple beginner based tutorial if yes hit the like button subscribe button for more amazing content follow us on our all the social media handles and by the way, we are starting Unreal Engine course entry level. If you're really interested, join right now. See you in my next video. Till then, keep watching, keep rocking World of VFX.